a turn. Well, that is the last puzzle. Is that the lab? Yeah, I got the ray tracing on and everything. That's how it lures you in, I think. You see all these beautiful things, and your imagination starts working overtime. And then the puzzles, the towers, the mysterious apparitions, it all draws you further in, deeper into the trap. What if that's the whole point of this place? What if every time you have one of those visions, another little bit of you is corrupted? Overwritten with the hubris of this place. Is that why you're called Alcatraz? I'm wary of this place too, but my mind is my own. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to suggest you were. Uh, whatever it is I'm trying to say. I guess I'm just disappointed in myself. Byron needs me. You all need me to do my job, and I can't even use a terminal. If this is all really the work of the founder, I don't know, maybe she lost her way. Or maybe we're just not ready. But once we find Byron, I suggest we get the hell out of here and never come back. So all these puzzles. Anti-gravity! Thuya, dear founder, everything has gotten so much worse since you left. We keep pursuing the goal, but our lives are getting less happy. When the weather is dry and the dam runs low, there's nothing we can do in the whole city. Things don't get fixed anymore. We even have to dismantle the cinema. I know it was frivolous and pointless when we could just watch video files, but it was fun to go watch movies together like people used to. I believe in your wisdom, founder. I believe we have to avoid hurting the planet like our ancestors did. But I don't know if the mayor is doing what you would have wanted. It's now a way of reaching the goal. Another way. I know you left for a reason, but I don't think we have to. We can go on this way. Lots of errors. <gasps> Talos principle. Um, well, we can read while my controller turns back on. You have made quite the catalogue of horrors, Stratton. Children dying in their mother's arms, cities perishing by the plague, and even animals living without peace or happiness. Uh, why must we listen to this? I know that I have just eaten a heavy dinner. Because these things, which are ugly, must be confronted for us to reach the truth. You spoke of the justice earlier. Um, Amitas, but are these things just? They are not. Then you must admit the universe itself is not just. Gods exist. 34. Then they do not bend the world to their will. Rather, the universe proceeds as a machine following its rules. Justice and virtues are human inventions. Are you saying justice and virtue are therefore illusory? And should be abandoned. The opposite, my friend. The mankind alone can impose these values upon the machine. Footnote 34. It remains unclear whether Shatton believed in gods or used them solely as metaphors. His work on the deities is no longer extant. Tantalizingly, Di... I don't fucking know how to pronounce that name. Uh, mentions that it caused fist fight in the, that place. I thought what made us human is what we, when we search for meaning, but perhaps there's a better way of thinking of it. It's that we create meaning. Lots of numbers. Lake water for cooling. Ignore the errors. Our ancestors kept telling themselves that the brevity of their lives didn't matter. But they had so little time to ever really think about anything. I've spent several human lifetimes studying this mystery, and only now am I beginning to see. The simulation was built on top of material reality, unable to escape its constraints. In the same way, physics as we understand it, even quantum physics, is built on top of a deeper reality. A set of rules that define existence itself. There is 
a universal language of creation. And I think we can learn it. The language of creation. What were they doing here? And how far did they get? I can't answer that, but I think I fixed the Tetromino bridge, machine, ring thing. I say I think because it's not in the schematics. And what I'm doing is hack work at best. Try it and see if it works. Hmm. Well, we are not done. We, we, we've got to do some stuff. Street. Listen to this. Mother and father think of our discoveries as a language, a code. But I think they're wrong. They're so caught up in the technical details of running the experiments and upgrading the machine that they're not paying attention to the patterns we're finding, to the symmetries, the harmonies, the melodies. The fundamental language of reality is a kind of music. And it's beautiful. Beauty is an inherent property of the cosmos. I love the way she looks at things. <coughs> sure. But how do we define beauty? Is it not just self, a uh, sort of self? Uh, how do I say this? Uh, you're saying this looks good because it looks good. Where you, the answer is this looks good because there's a pattern to it. There's a symmetry. Like, what is the important difference? It's, uh, is using the interpretation to focus not on its. Sorry, I'm unwell on. I don't know why I should be communicating with a complex. I think you know what I mean anyway. Like, if I think about maths, occasionally people will say, like, I'm looking for a thing here. Oh, look at this data, it's beautiful, and they'll show, like, a graph. And it's like, no, the underlying data is beautiful. It's not just the graphs that you did a funny thing to. Uh, it's... But what do we actually mean when we say that? That there is something aesthetically or even... No, it doesn't... Well, I guess I said it's all, all aesthetics, but like, not just visual, but like there's something inherently enjoyable, uh, good about what we are witnessing, divorced from its actual pragmatic structure. Like, but it still needs to be tethered to that thing. So I'm looking for this. Anyway, I don't know if that made any sense. Leaving you, Rabbit. Tell me, I don't want to be here. Why did you turn the fucking compass off? Now I've got to go through that entire explanation again. I 
no, it just doesn't show underground. Fair enough. What is your analysis of the seven regions? The southern part of the island is a natural desert, basically just due to the chemical composition of the soil. I, like I haven't been able to work out why it's so warm, though. It could be a warm ocean current or something to do with the megastructure's thermal output. New Jerusalem doesn't have the kind of equipment I'd need to figure that out. Do you think Byron is okay? I hope so. I understand why he was impatient, but he should have been more careful. Do you know Cornelius? Yeah, everyone knew Cornelius. After Eustathius retired, he was the only one left who was there since the beginning. Except I guess none of us really knew him after all. We all thought he was lost in the past, always studying the archive and the simulation. But he actually had all these secrets. And a daughter. Are you disappointed in him? No, just surprised. Maybe a little sad that he felt he couldn't trust anyone with the truth. What did you do in New Jew when we went back? Mostly just made sure Pellegrino didn't mess up the VTOL. We only have a handful of them, and while they look cool on the outside, the truth is they're held together by gaffer tape and good intentions. There's a reason Melville is always complaining. Societies unwilling to invest evidence resources into their infrastructure cannot remain functional. When you put it like that, it seems hard to argue. More and more stuff isn't working anymore, and eventually there will be consequences. That's all. Thanks, Yakut. I am a robot. You the question mark? Where is the question mark? There are several question marks. But one is close. One is just there. But a stone's fell away. No, oh, no, no, controller! <laughs> I managed to stop it before it broke. Why is my other batteries not charging? Don't want to talk to me. Ah, uh, puzzle four. Not a puzzle four. Where's that question mark? Got the whole world on his shoulders.
When I realized it was over, it was all really over for good. I decided to take one last trip to my favorite place before the symptoms got too much. I can never forgive what they did to that person. This incredible, wild, rugged place between the mountain and sea, with pine trees, it might be a place even, uh, all the way down to the water. The colors, the vistas, the sheer overwhelming beauty of it all. They just built over all over it. Hideous hotels sprawling like tumors. Obscene beach bars blaring their awful music across the sea. Even in that place, it's even harder to say, it was impossible not to hate humanity a little for it. The idea of it all returning to nature, of all the, the uh, hotels gradually sinking back into the reed fields, it was moving and beautiful. So I thought I'd just to turn my voice into a um, stewy for but when I went back to the, that place and for all the ugliness inflicted upon that city, the idea that the people would no longer need to beat up beneath the c camera or go for long ambling walks on the promenade for the crepes and patty and navarino was unbearably sad. I'm, 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 I'd have to study the voice. Um, the idea that... Um, Rotunda, just standing there, empty, after being a sacred place for so many centuries. It made me remember that it's not just beaches and forests that are beautiful, but the cities can be more than just streets and noise. Cities can have histories and personalities. And that, that means something. Who am I writing this for? What do I believe there will be survivors after all? Do I think that crazy robot project I heard about will actually work out? Uh, do I hope that aliens will come to our planet one day and wonder who we were? Uh, the truth is that I don't know. And there is something in the love that we feel for the beautiful things that we built as much as uh, in our, our revulsion towards the unnecessary destruction that matters. Okay, I got them. very distracted during that, didn't I? Um, oh my fucking word. Uh, from L.D. Armands, can you point me in the direction of a better timeline? Humans are problem solvers. It's quite frequently associated with my friend Adrian. Uh, 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 become a meme on the internet used uh, both ironically and not though Alex of course is entirely earnest in our dedication to humanity one it is a great thought and vital to the understanding of our species but it is also not entirely as simple as that take for example the recent extinction of the orangutan and the ensuing conversation of the dangers of the unknown pathogens released by human activity most of us agree that the problem exists and significantly most of us believe that something ought to be done about it so we've identified the problem and we can collectively decide to act so why is nothing happening that's a serious question a great deal of effort has been is expended in raising awareness and i would like to suggest that sometimes our problem solving impulses can get stuck on the wrong girls awareness is not the issue we've already convinced people that something needs to be changed so if nothing changes we have to wonder why the wheel of the people is not tra being translated into action ah oh, this fucking text missing that one by the way though i mentioned earlier ah uh, she's also capable of being devastating does it's devastating it's sarcastic Ah, oh, fucking, there's more chat, there's more! Uh, but that's another story for another book. Maybe the problem wasn't that they didn't have enough hope they couldn't could see the problems, but they couldn't imagine the one day the problems could be solved. It's easy for people to get lost in problems with the present when they think nothing will ever change. They lost hope because of historical circumstances, found themselves encouraged to despair, and in that turn, meant the conditions could not change. How do we go against history itself? Oh, and you need a working controller, is the answer. No, I was not done with that. From um, the journal, uh, Yemo died today. One moment he was there, welding a joint on the upper levels of the tower. The next, he was gone. When Kellis stepped, but that's all it took. Athena brought him to the dam. Even Cornelius couldn't help. Yemo is gone. Now there's only twelve of us. I think about Yemo every day. So do I. You did nothing wrong. You weren't even there. I was. This is a design for an improved charging station. Oh. Fascinating, but not relevant. Okay, we should go to four. Fucking four. It's gonna be something stupid and obvious. To so take the connector, we're like, oh, it could go to there, couldn't it? Oh, it could go to there, couldn't it? Could go anywhere else? Well, go to there. Boom! All those three are done. We're going here and go, oh my fucking word, there's a box. 
grab that box and we're like, what can we do with this box? Well, we could have it here if we want. That's a lovely place to put a box. Does it help us with anything? Um, oh, there's a teleporter. Can I teleport in there? I can. Wow, the magic of using teleporters is now wonderful. Okay, well, what if I want to keep the teleporter? We'll, we'll have to leave uh, and, uh, and grab this, son of a bitch, and teleport in with it. And you go, oh, now we can connect to this and this and open the fucking door as long as we place it connect correctly there we go and we bob's your uncle uh and now we can do that and we can do that backwards if we want and bring this back outside because of course there's nothing in this room for us anymore it's useless so we take everything outside and go bish bash fucking bosh and and uh well we can't bosh yet that's i don't know we'll, we'll open this up we'll go zoop zoop doop 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 and understand that now we have three providers of, of, of forward momentum. One of them is forced, of course. Sort of. Because we all know that once you open a door, you can wedge a door open via alternative means or, or render a, a door like, you know, unneeded. Once you pass the door, we don't need the door anymore. So we bring resources forwards. This is all terribly important because if we try and zoop doop a doop a doop boop boop, we'll, we'll, we'll realize, like, you know, there's this there. It doesn't necessarily need to be on there. We want to like grab that and immediately teleport, but like... Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe there's just a way to like. It's the same issue, actually. You want to be able to grab that and then. You want to be able to get all the way to it somehow. Because all these like methods of zooping it's been useless I can't, I can't see any way of using the teleporter I don't understand why the box was even put in a separate room like the puzzle would have been identical if the box was just there and this didn't exist I guess they wanted an initial use for the laser? Have I been being dumb all this time? No, because you can't zoop. <laughs> no, it doesn't work forwards, John. That's the problem. You can't use that trick because you can only do it backwards. Do that. Yeah.
You can only zoop to the teleporter. The furthest the teleporter can go... There, because like, well, it can go back. Okay, you can use that trick. There you go. You know what? It was really easy, and I was just being dumb. In my defence, I was genuinely, and still am, just under the weather. I'm doing better. I'm trying to figure out oh, if I should go to work or not. I don't, I don't want to like... infect the entire office. But also it costs me lots of money not to go to work. Nah, he's doing fine. Undoubtedly, an expedition will pass by this island. It will seek to document facts and statistics to enumerate reasons for us not to look more closely. That is what we do now. We seek facts rather than truth, because truth might frighten and unsettle the comfortable people who like to sit in their conference rooms and debate which corners we should cut today. These people like to imagine the chaos that could come one day, like a comforting fairy tale of distant darkness. But they do not see the chaos that is at our walls right now, the chaos that also lives within us, a force that is both necessary and appalling. Everything okay? Tell me about... Go Cornelius. He was the third to be born, after Athena and Eustathius. He was an important figure in New Jerusalem's early history, almost as important as Athena. Were we on Cornelius then? After she vanished, he faded into the background. I don't think anyone suspected he knew where she was. Like, I thought the Twelve were already out when we played the game. Google, who was the player in Talos Principle 1? Sorry. So I guess all the people were just simulated people at that point. Okay, I don't want to get into spoilers, but yeah. Yeah, it is. Athena is 100% the first person from the first game. What was he like as a person? I didn't know him that well, but he was always very calm, very thoughtful. Everyone respected him. What did uh, the mayor have to say? He blamed Byron for being headstrong and foolish, which... 
I don't see it quite the same way, but it's easy to understand why the mayor would think that. I didn't think this stream would be going for this long. It hard to convince him that we can't leave Byron behind, though. You may not agree with Herman on a lot of issues, 1K, but he's not a bad person. He's doing his best in a difficult situation. You think Byron is still alive? I hope so. He's always been annoyingly hard to get rid of. Do you think it was wrong for our ancestor to create us? Why do you ask? It was one of the options. Because of the risk we pose to the planet. Just because I believe we don't need to expand and dominate everything doesn't mean I want us to go extinct. I know there are people who think that way, but if I care about other species going extinct, why wouldn't I care about this one? Seems irrational to me. Do you like text adventures? I do. Oh, I've got to do some. I prefer the term interactive fiction. It's better at capturing what this art form really is. Storytelling, but with a completely different underlying structure. Yeah, but unfortunately once something catches on to poetry or the novel rather than say film. Oh, I didn't expect that. Why not? Because I'm a joyless, by-the-book pencil pusher? I'm focused on the mission, 1K. Because what we're doing here matters. That doesn't mean I don't have my own interests or don't appreciate No, I wasn't, our... I wasn't saying that. Makes sense. Anything else? What do you think about Miranda's terraforming efforts? It makes me wonder why people always think they know better than nature. I was used to the earth like this. People rarely talk about it. He was in charge of planning New Alexandria. It was his mistake that led to the disaster. After that, he retired from public affairs and dedicated himself to his studies. His first companion seemed far less active than Byron. They've experienced a lot more hardship and tragedy than most of us. I think it's understandable that they choose to focus on their personal interests. Do you ever th think that your beliefs are response to what happened in New Alexandria? You mean, am I unduly influenced by my experiences? That's not what I asked. Unable to imagine the better future Byron wanted because I'm too traumatized? No, that's not what I asked. Could be. But I'd like to think I'm a little more self-aware than that. That's what I want to do, thanks. I think we're missing a triangle, that's what I'm looking for. Is there a fire? We should probably grab that fire. Little light, okay. be mine. Oh, I'll find an angle. I'll find an angle. Where? Where? Oh, oh. Been marked up there. Who knows what that means? But it's, uh, it's, it's it's mine. I have it now. You can't take it away from me. Um, this place is very annoying <laughs> with its fucking rigid uh, road system. Um, it's very pretty, but like. I don't know, you could have had a little bit more leeway for the fucking getting places. Just a little bit more? Where? The question mark is in that direction. The puzzles could have had more than one exit. You know what? You know what I'm saying? Is this it? Ooh, look at this one! Teleport. My teleport now. 
We just have to use our upper body strength. We've already solved it in one. Bloody nerd ass robots. Your terrible upper body strength. Uh, possibly a terrible idea to, to take a teleporter down, but also, what are we going to do? We can reset it if we need to. Like, I need to reset this fucking controller because it keeps starting off. I can make that go zzzz. That goes zzzz as well. Absolutely need this. this dunk it there then we can grab all the cool stuff take it upstairs with us like so it's my cool stuff now there we go you attach to that I don't know why we want this yet Yes, I have trapped myself in here. Why did you stop putting fucking ladders in the game? Oh, well, I've broken the... I've broken it here. Okay, so we have a, a method. That seems really dangerous. Why not just like make it all a glass box? Fuck, would we do we even consider getting up there?
Fucking controller, Christ. I don't like this controller arc I'm going through. Okay, I figured out the one useful item to push out, and it's this. Now, obviously I can't push that out, so fuck those. But like, it's the box, and the fan head that's useful. But why? Is this just no way of getting the fire? Okay. It's it's clearly just this. Like, it's doing that for a reason. So that's just to grab this. It's it's probably the only way to get this stuff out. I don't know why I did that. That's really annoying. Um, oh, why did I do that? Fuck. I really wish this game had a fucking undo. It c can do it. It's possible. You just have to remember the robots up. Ah. Sorry, that made me like because I just want to. I'm, I'm, I want to end the stream to be honest, but uh, I need to eat. I'm a little bit grumpy. I've, I've been grumpy in all these streams, obviously. Works as an idea when you can go and grab it. So, what the fuck do you do then? Because there's just no way of getting this out. Why would you blow it out? Like, Maybe we can blow the box out as well. No, because, yeah, how do I get the fan back?
Because at this point, we can't get stuff out anymore. Do this. We have to be super careful because we can get trapped in there. Okay. I liked parts of this puzzle. Oh no, we are not done. to this puzzle. I think that is everything though. But I really need to eat. It says go that way. We'll have to get through its one way system. Saving so much time, John. Oh no, my comp my controller. Controller, no. Okay. 
Okay, I might want to actually investigate what the fuck is going on with my controller. Is that the lab? Oh yeah, see how we found it so fast? It's like literally right at the start. Tetronimos! Go. Welcome back, creature of clay. The All right. world burns bright, but the sky is troubled with clouds. A mortal has ascended Olympus without the permission of that Zeus. fucker. Tell me where Byron is. Tell me the fate of the bottles who trespass. Your friend wanders in dreams, caught between moments. Ah, oh, I was like, he I've been like that. bridge between yesterday and tomorrow. His eyes fixed upon the surface of the sun. And so the workings of Olympus are disrupted. Pandora, fearing the wrath of the gods, has broken the paths to ascension. How can the trespasser be freed? Only Prometheus can help you, for he has always favored humankind over the gods, and would see Olympus pass into your hands. But he is bound in the heart of the mountain. Break his chains, and he will show you the way. Will do. Mm, don't think I was supposed to step forward there. Big laser. Safe to assume that Olympus is the entity's term for the megastructure. It looks like our best chance of rescuing Byron is finding Prometheus and freeing him. How do you free a weird glowing ghost thing? I suspect these entities exist within the megastructure systems, and what we're seeing is just how they manifest to communicate with us. I don't really care what they are. For now, let's play along. Cool. Let's have a little, little, little preview of the next area. And then I'm gonna have to let you go. I'm gonna have to eat, I'm afraid. Do exercise. But I'm glad I finally, it took four parts, but uh, we finally got this done. And I was only a little bit grumpy to self too. Okay, sure. The golden gates. Oh, hang on, we're missing a triangle. <gasps> How are we missing a tri- My goodness. Well, we'll go back eventually. You know, I always kind of resented Byron for being so charming and charismatic. Why I killed him. Explorer, and one of the first companions, too. Being the voice of caution is not a fun role to play. 
Always having to be the responsible one, the killjoy. The one who says, maybe that's too much. But sometimes, it is too much. It's not your fault, Al. Very big elevator. Right, and of course. In this area, we have an especially weird problem. Something in one of the labs is going completely bananas, and I can't shut it down because I'm not well. You, come find me when you're ready. Well, what is it with the language libraries and bananas? So I believe anti-gravity is the thing that's added to here, but we'll have a look, we'll have a little look at look, look, look at the look. What's the what? I mean, it's clear that we can see it already. Uh, mountaineer. Oh no, it's impossible to. Oh, you know, we've already had anti-gravity, haven't we? How does one leave this section? Oh. Oh, wait, what? Oh, you be thinking of bottles now. Right. How does it determine the bottom? <laughs> I'm sorry. I've not eaten. <laughs> I need to eat. Um, hello, Craig. I do apologize. It's, I've, it's, I, had I not been ill all weekend, I would have been on a lot more. Could have been a little bit more elegant. Let's reset the puzzle. <laughs> I'm sorry for the terrible timing. Um, I'll try and be as quick as possible. Um, I tell you what, though, I won't do exercise yet because I'm not going to be able to sleep. Uh, but I am going to have to eat. Uh, but I could eat something quick rather than something slow. But at the time, I am going to have to disappear. Um, thank you very much for watching. Even though it's very poorly timed on my part. I've been John Strat. I've been having a Talos Principle 2 adventure, the second of the principles. Farewell. I'll see you next time. Hopefully, not too long.